to my channel so today as you guys can see from this title i'm talking all about my filming setup how i organize all my makeup and everything i live in a really small room with me and my boyfriend and we share a room so poor grad only has one little drawer and the rest of the storage is all mine because i get sent so much makeup to try out to feature videos and stuff like that it's just like part of the job i literally struggle to store it all so if you guys want to see how i manage how i do this damn thing please keep watching okay guys so if you are not aware i do this job full time so me and my boyfriend we share a room in my mum's house so it's a very tight room i've literally have like no space my bed is literally back here it's all literally smoke and mirrors guys all you see is this white background that is literally a blind that i drew up to the ceiling and then i pull it down when i want to film and when i don't want to film i pull it back up so i literally i am the queen of like budgeting and cowboy jobs i want to do everything the shortcut way i don't want to pay premium prices i still want to get the quality you know i thought let me just film this video and tell you guys my tips and tricks and little things that people don't think about when they're filming a lot of times when i watch this video a lot of people are like oh just film in front of a window film your iphone and stuff like that but if you want the quality you kind of need like a studio-ish setup you know yeah i'm here to tell you guys my tips i'm just gonna make a few points about the stuff that's recently i've noticed that really does help me when i'm filming so the camera i'm filming on is an atd and it's about like a thousand pounds but i did search around on the website and there was this website called slr hut i don't know if the deal is still happening but i remember i got this camera it come with three different lenses come memory cards batteries like a backpack and um, it came with loads of extra stuff for a thousand pounds so that's definitely worth getting if you are thinking to get this camera this camera is really good because it has a flip out screen it also has auto focus so that means that if i put something up to the camera it focuses it immediately there's some cameras that freaking if you put something up here you have to manually focus it like get up and change all the settings and stuff i feel like this camera it does everything so it takes really good photos i take all my photos on this i film with it i even see some people vlog with it as well it's a bit too hefty to vlog for me something that really does help me is this remote this is literally like 10 pounds i got on amazon and it's from the canon brand not a lot of cameras will come with a remote so you have to buy it separately but with this i can literally take photos on it and it goes on like a two timer setting thing and i literally just take photo that pose i can even use two hands it's got two seconds i can quickly take it and just drop it and then, and then also when i start and stop my videos i can just press this so when i film my instagram videos i don't film the whole thing i have filmed like a separate video uh, on how i film my instagram videos which i'll link up here most of the time i've kind of done the makeup and then on the last bit i just want to just show the motion and then i'll turn on the camera and then i'll do like a few strokes and i'll turn off the camera so when i go to edit i won't have like literally like two hours worth of me doing makeup on day. so something else that really really does help me is i actually have a monitor so my monitor is literally right here in a minute you guys are going to see what my setup is but the camera it does come out a flip out lens but i do find that the camera flip out lens is so small that i have to like really check to see if i'm in focus i bought like a tv which is like a normal small hd tv you have to make sure it's hd i'm looking at myself right now so it's very annoying i have to remember to keep looking at the camera but sometimes for instagram videos i don't know if something's in focus like for example this i want to make sure i can see the name of this product so i can hold it really close like this and I can see when it's focused. So now it's focused. So I can see right on my screen. If that was a small, tiny screen, I would not be able to see that little tiny right. This is a Samsung TV that I'm using. So I know you can also hook your laptop up. I find when I hooked my laptop up, it was very laggy and it wasn't like true to life, you know? Like as I'm moving my hand, I can see my hand moving right on the screen. Whereas I find when I hooked up my laptop, it was like a two second delay. So that was really annoying. Okay, so the next thing that's also very helpful is this little boy right here. So this is a remote for all my life it's called a remote control socket i got this on amazon it's actually really handy around the house so what it does basically i have like freaking i don't know how many lights i've got like four lights around me and i can't be like freaking getting up and like turn on the light every freaking time i want to use the lights you know so with this what you do is you plug the plug on top of this socket so you can buy one with like four plugs two plugs one plug but with this you can control all of the sockets with just a remote so like for example if i want to turn off the lights i'll press off and then the lights will just turn off. Really good when I want to quickly film, I just press this button and then all the lights just come back on. 
so magic very handy and very cheap and affordable i think i already talked about lighting on my channel before but i have a ring light i actually would not recommend this ring light that i have because this one is a fluorescent bulb light and i find it gets really hot so when you're filming especially when you do makeup videos it's so annoying because you're like sweating so i would definitely recommend to get like an led light because this light is a fluorescent one from newer and it's not that bright whatsoever but i have seen like an led light in real life and it's more expensive but it gets so bright and you probably won't need as many lights as i have if you have that light instead i also have a uh, three soft boxes so i have like a three point angle system i have a soft box over here a soft box over here and a soft box on top of me the soft box on top is really handy it helps me with like dark shadows or anything like that it just helps me like be a bit more illuminated and then i also have two six bulb lights on the side this is like a newer addition to my collection i've never had this light before but i really like the way it gives me a bit more warmth like without it i feel like this is how i used to fucking feel before i don't know i much prefer it with this like it gives it a bit more like a warmth and your skin looks a bit more tanned so yeah i like that i'll link them down below i do have a discount code for it. i don't know if it still works and then also i have a light back here that you guys will see in a minute when i show you the tour but this light helps light up my background so this is my background without the light and honestly sometimes i just can't be able to turn on that light because before i didn't have a stand for it so sometimes i'll just film like this but i don't know if you can tell but this looks so gloomy at the back it just literally looks so dull and my makeup never pops with it it just lights up you know it's just a bit more brighter i do wish that i had other colorful backgrounds i know some of you guys tell me that you want me to change my background up and stuff like that i just can't afford to be hooking up loads of blinds here and rolling it down you know just white it's good it's plain a lot of brands whenever they work for you they just want to play white background so yeah it works for me for now anyways until i can actually get a studio set up and i can get really nice backgrounds and stuff like that and one day guys or one day you know okay so i think that is it for like all my little tips and tricks about how to get your lighting a bit more on point and a bit more steady in all your videos i personally find for me i can't film during the daytime especially when you live in london it's very cloudy very gloomy i don't have a window directly in front of me if you are freshly starting out i wouldn't advise to buy all this equipment and just in case you don't even want to make videos in the long run i don't think everyone is cut out for this job you have to be very dedicated and very determined to do this job so definitely try it out on your iphone first put it in front of a mirror do a couple of videos see if you like editing and all that stuff because it's very very hard behind the scenes a lot of people think it's very glamorous because you get taken to all these places and you get given all this makeup but it's very very hard so i wouldn't suggest buy all this i'm gonna leave all the links and stuff down below they're not the most cheapest but they're not the most expensive at all there's some people that have literally like two thousand pounds just for one light you know okay so now i'm gonna switch over to show you guys my little room tour and also i organize all of my makeup as well i had a team from fantastic services come over and help me organize because i'm just so bad at organizing guys and stay tuned and i'll switch over to that now hey guys so i'm going to show you guys around my room i just lightly cleaned up because the fantastic services people are going to come over and help me organize this mess if you guys don't know i actually get packages daily almost every single day there's always a package for me so it gets very overwhelming i've got so much products in my room products everywhere skincare makeup hair care so much stuff everywhere which is not a bad position to be in but sometimes it's so overwhelming on where to store it to make sure i can find things easily and i feel like i'm not utilizing my storage today is all about organizing and making sure everything has a purpose and a right place so hopefully we can get that sorted today so the people at fantastic services they do so many different types of services they even come to your house to organize all your christmas decorations and also for valentine's day they can come and decorate your house and stuff they clean your house there's loads of different services they can do but today they're going to come and help me just organize everything and label everything and make sure everything is in order so fingers crossed we can get this all done so i'm just going to show you guys around my room and how i have it set up at the moment and then also show you how i'm organizing it along the way and hopefully you guys can get some tips so many people wanted to see this video so i hope you guys can learn something you have like a king size bed because there's two of us and then i also have a really really big wardrobe here so it's not going to be showing you guys that but this whole side of the room is all for me so i'm going to show you guys around so as soon as you walk into the room this is what you see you see a bed 
and then I have all my vanity and all my drawers and all my lighting. This is permanently set up, so I literally never take these down or anything like that. So, unfortunately, if you want to film and have like a setup and stuff like that, then you're going to have to live with the mess. Yeah, you just learn to adapt after. I have managed to clear out the space here, but sometimes when I get so many deliveries, like right now I've got a pretty little thing haul and that bag needs to be kept out there. So sometimes it gets so overwhelming on this floor, sometimes you can't even see the floor, god damn it. I'm going to just start off here. This is Gwang's drawer the one and only drawer that he has i've got my sock drawer and my snack drawer you know the snacks i don't know why there's tomato ketchup in there and then i've got my vanity here this is all from ikea by the way so it's called the alex drawers so you can buy this and then get two on the side and then you just literally get a plank and you put it on top and you drill it in so Grant has actually diy'd a drawer for me so he's made this like it doesn't come with it but yeah it doesn't even fit in properly but you know it'll do so then on the side here i have drawers across here the thing that's really annoying about my room is that i've actually got a chimney that's here i don't know if you can see but there's like a bit of wall that just basically can't get knocked down because it's like a chimney so we've had to like make shift shelf to put in here because i literally don't have enough space so i had to build up really really high so literally there's like shelves all along here so i would really recommend shelves especially if you build them high and you literally just get a stool like this this is from ikea and it's really sturdy you can literally just step up and go really really high so that's where Greg keeps all his trainers so this is where i sit all the time to film all my videos like there's a light on top of me here there's a light on the backdrop here so i've got my camera on my ring light and then i've also got my screen here which is my monitor so i can see myself whatever i'm filming and then i have all my makeup like to the side here like all powders and foundations and all that stuff so it's very very easy accessible but i have an overwhelming amount of skincare you guys know i love skincare so much i film so many skincare videos so all of this is all skincare that i'm using quite regularly and then i have this addiction with skincare guys this whole row here is filled with skincare like all of this skincare 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 but basically i never go through here so i feel like i just need to chuck stuff away and then i've also got like all my sheet masks here more skincare more skincare more skincare some weave oh god i've got one random tray of huda beauty products more skincare i have a drawer full of skincare here it's just stuff that i just hardly ever use and this tray is like some random tray i just need to help organize it, everything and then on top of that i get products like this where i don't know where to store it you know so this i need to film a video with and then this is like all my hair products that i'm using at the moment i've got some more hair, hair products here that i never touch this is all presents so whenever i get products that i won't use for myself it'd be nice as gifts i put them in here and then i've just got skincare 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 and then more skincare up here these are all like backup skincare skincare for videos and then also from ikea you can get these these are like eight pounds for one so rather than getting a big box like this sometimes it's like it's not that practical especially with makeup it's a bit more like smaller product so if you get these these are from ikea they're so dirty because my freaking grubby fingers these are from ikea and i just label them with my label machine and this is lipstick lip glosses eyeliners mascaras and everything but what i find is that i have a lot more like foundations foundations are heavier so these drawers are overfilled as you guys can see like my powders are overfilled so i need to go through and empty them and sometimes i find if i don't have space i'll just chuck it in another drawer because i just need to like put it away you know and that's not good all of this is just so messy like i just have bags everywhere because when i give presents i need bags so i end up keeping bags here that's like spare things are just like in shambles at the moment guys so we're gonna try to like help organize everything okay guys so we're gonna get started now i'm gonna go through all these drawers so you guys know i have so much skincare so we're just gonna empty this all out in the bed and then we're gonna go through what i want to keep and what i don't want to keep and like a giveaway pile and stuff like that so hopefully i will end up with a lot less skincare okay so the madness is starting to begin what we're doing now is we're just going through all the drawers and we're just emptying out everything and then i'm gonna go through and decide what i want and what i don't want so it's gonna be very very stressful but i have so much skincare and like makeup and stuff and stuff i've never touched before but i need to be ruthless okay so we ended up emptying out all the drawers and this is stuff that i'm keeping i'm going to try to organize it and i've literally got boxes and boxes of stuff just to give away all of these drawers here except for this drawer which i already organized my sheet mask but all of them are empty now yay okay so now we just have to put everything back but in the right place okay guys so a couple hours later and we're finally done i couldn't vlog everything because it was 
very very stressful and i only booked them for three hours so i was trying to get everything done and pull out the camera all the time it was an annoying waste of time but i'm going to show you what it looks like now i managed to kind of get rid of a lot of stuff which is really hard but i definitely noticed that when you clean up and organize especially when you have a lot of stuff like me and you tend to be a hoarder like me you just need to be like ruthless and just chuck stuff away well, I'm not chucking stuff away. I'm going to be giving a lot of stuff away as giveaway prizes and giving away to my friends and family and stuff like that. I managed to, like, get those bags full of product. And then my mum's room. Oh, I think I managed to, like, get rid of, like, five bags. But I'll show you what we've done. It kind of looks similar, but if you actually look through the drawers, it's, like, so empty now. So let me show you. So we didn't touch any of my table here because there was definitely not enough time. But this side here is all organised now. Like, we've got all, like, sticky notes in here. And all of these drawers are all empty now. I just had so much stuff in here that I just never ever used because my light is here. But I just want to keep this for like storage for when I have stuff that I like don't need right now. But I need to like store them where I can literally store them all in here nicely. Basically hold things in here. But this side is all my sheet masks up here. Here I've got like an empty drawer. I don't know what to put in here. I've got all my masks here. These are all my used ones because I have all my new ones down here. I have all my masks again down here. These are more like tubes and stuff like this. This is all like pop. This is just another empty drawer. And then we've got cleansers. So any cleanser. I need to start putting this stuff in here because I have so much that I don't need all of this up here you know i can just store them in here so i'm gonna keep this all for skincare now because before it was like some makeup here random stuff so i've got moisturizers here and then here's all that camera equipment i've got something in the back here it won't close okay, and then i've got some brand new hair stuff i've got all my hair curlers hair tools here uh i don't know what this is some random tablets i've got all my hair stuff up here like hair grips hair ties and stuff and then here we managed to organize all of this which is great so now i've got a drawer just for my body product so i do like a lot of like tanning videos and you know i want to like tan my legs and stuff so here's all my tanning products i've got liquid lipsticks in here lipsticks like normal kind of tube lipstick i've got pencil and glosses because i don't have that many pencils and glossy i don't have that many as well um, this is just like extra uh, face towels and stuff like that this is all my extra hair care that i don't really use that often this is my hair tools that i use quite often so anything like detangling mists and stuff like that and then we've got eyelashes in here this is my new in stuff so stuff that i need to film with is in here this is all highlight and contour eyeshadows and glitters powders mascaras foundations and concealers i need to relabel all of these and then up top here it's more like bigger stuff so i have a lot of like extra skincare this is empty now this one i've got lots of tools so any like extra brushes beauty blenders and stuff like that and then extra eyelashes are in there i'm going to show you my filming setup as well so these lights here they're from a brand called lamps for makeup and these are really good because it comes with this button and you literally just press it and it just turns on and turns off. So when I don't need all my lights but I still want to use like good lighting to put on my makeup, I just turn on these. But when I'm filming, so this button here controls all of these lights. So I don't have to keep going to the back of them and switching them all one by one because that's long. So instead I have these which are remote control sockets. If I want to turn my ring light on and off, I just press one button. I don't know why these are like going together for some reason they should be separate but you know if i want to turn it on and i press this button and so on and so forth so i have a light up here that helps me with a shadow so if you get dark shadows underneath your eyes this is really really good to have because it just kind of brings the light to the top of your head you don't have to have this but it does make a bit of a difference and then i also have this which is my backdrop so this backdrop is literally a blind that i pull from the ceiling i literally just drilled it in and i can literally just go like this Bye. Bye, Greg. Bye. Bye. And then this is my backdrop here, basically. And then I have a light. It's like an LED panel. I'm going to leave all the links down below. And this just basically shines on the background like this. And it just makes the background more white. Because if you're using a white background, you'll find a lot of times you can't get it truly white. It looks more grey. So you need to shine a light just on the background. So, yeah, this is my makeshift like this about 100 pounds on amazon and then i have it on a boom arm here and then i also have all my chokers here 
which is very very messy it was organized once before then i've got all my sunglasses you guys see like i don't have a lot of space but i made space even if it looks fucking ugly as long as i can see them all i can grab stuff so i have a lot of choking it was so hard to store before i actually like diy this well grab diy this for me so this just got like a couple of planks and just nailed in like little small rods and then now i can just put them on i've got some more chokers down here but this rack is actually a drying rack that i got from b m so normally you put this hang towels and stuff i just drew some screws in here and then we literally just hung this on top and then all my sunglasses just slot in there whoa i feel like we accomplished a lot guys okay guys that's it for this video thank you so so much for tuning in and seeing my shithole hell that I live in right now. It's so small, but you gotta make it work. There's no excuses, you know. Thank you so much to Fantastic Services for helping me organise my makeup. I can't believe how much organisation I got done three hours. This probably would have took me like three days because I'm such a hauler and they were so strict with me. And I was like, okay. So if you guys haven't yet, please make sure you subscribe before you leave. Also, make sure you follow me on all my other social media platforms. It's just X Tweely on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And I'll see you guys my next video bye guys oh comment down below if you have any questions because i'm gonna do another q a okay okay so you guys want to see how i maneuver everything and make a Oh, and um, I actually found a deal on DSLR Hut, which I'll link down below. And I was it's hunting around. What? It's called SLR Hut. Oh. 